Hello, I'm Robbie. I'm on board my narrowboat home, the Naughty Lass. But it's also a little bit of a workshop creatively. I edit a lot of my videos here and play a lot of music, record a lot of music. But today it's a bit of a schoolroom type atmosphere because I'm critiquing some of your videos. In front of me here I've got a selection of various different vlogs, previous video on how to sort of get into vlogging just using what you've got. I, the, the homework was I set two minutes, so it was a two minute vlog telling me what's, or the audience, what you want a, the vlog to be about, what equipment you're using and just tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, this is my reason why I vlog, because um, it's probably the best way to start out is like, you know, what do you want your vlog to be about? And what do you want the vlog to do for you? You know, do you just want to make money or do you want to actually connect with other people and um, improve your confidence and all the other things that I've put on here? You don't have to do it for the same reasons that I'm doing it. I'm just saying that it's not all about the money, guys. I mean, the money comes uh, if you're incredibly good looking. Um, I had a lot of entries, which is fantastic. So I've, I can only use the very, very best, the cream of the crop. Uh, so without further ado, let's just get stuck in and I'm going to be watching these and reviewing them as we go along. So uh, yeah, I'll try and be kind. First one we've got here, it's called Today's Allowed Exercise. And this is by Steve and Sharon Mepham, with their dog Frodo and horse Bilbo. Straight away, we've got a portrait uh, video, but that's fine because I'm just going to push the video over here. It works for me. Lovely sound of the pony click clopping along. And some people might think, well, there's not much going on here, but actually, this is a, a little glimpse of suburban or countryside life in the UK and the strange sorts of things you might see, especially in lockdown. It would be nice to hear a little bit more about the area though like a, a commentary that would have been nice because no one knows where you guys are perhaps you're keeping it that way i like to keep it a little bit mysterious sometimes but yeah it'd be nice to know a little bit more about the, the town you're walking through or village you're walking through a little bit of no wind noise but that's fine i like that post that rushed past there perhaps you could have used that as a some kind of transition to get to this next bit here that's a bit, that's a bit complex. That's nice. Got the shadows uh, across the grass there. Sharon <laughs> and her pony chomping away in the grass. Getting the leaves in the foreground. That's, that could be quite a nice shot. If you actually moved yourself closer and then perhaps moved in and out of the, the leaves, that might give you a nice little effect there. That's coming up to two minutes. A little bit over, I'll give you that, because you got a cute dog. Uh, I'll give that uh, a gold star. Um, now, I'm, not gonna, I'm actually not gonna review any of these. I'm not gonna give you points. There's no prizes. There's no points mean prizes. It, we're just gonna have a look at these videos together. The next one is by Helena, Helena Lucas, and she says this is her first vlog with her dog, Meg. And there's no, there's no sound over this one, so I'm just gonna slip in some, uh, some of my tunes over the top. Hope you don't mind, Hel Helena. always have to have music in in your videos but if it's too windy for example like I, I suspect it was the day you filmed you can see those trees all over the place and the flowers yeah it'd be nice to have something to uh, put over the top of that 
Oh, this is the only part of the video that does have sound. And it's great, you can't beat running water. I love that sound, unless you need to go to the toilet. Oh, it's a narrowboat. And what looks like a pub, yes. Oh, it's sad, isn't it, seeing the pubs that aren't open at the moment. I like the way you've, you've, you've been creative there, these different speeds of film, that's good. But yeah, you can see it's so windy, isn't it? Difficult. You really, this is your first vlog, Helen, I think that's not bad. Good effort. But having more of yourself in, in the video would have been good. I know you've got this bit here, which is uh, a great little nod to what I sometimes do, which is leave the camera where it is and then walk or you know, take my boat off to the next spot. But then of course you've got to run back, which Helena and Meg does do very well. <laughs> that was great. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's handy. Little dog wa um, water uh, feeding bottle, that's cool. Thank you very much for that one, Helena. Next one we've got is actually a blog that's, a YouTube vlog that's just started uh, called Winging It. Uh, this is by uh, Peter Peter Bell, who sent this in to me. And this is already getting some, some traction on YouTube, some views. So well worth a, a look this one, I think. But he's just learning as he goes along. So that's why it's going to be quite interesting for him to hear what I have to say. <laughs> now, I think when you're making these videos for the first time, I think you know what you're doing wrong, don't you, really? I mean, like the portrait video. You know. Hiya folks, welcome to my blog. We're calling it Winging It, and let's find out why. I like that straight away, he's Basically, got a really engaging back in July personality. 2019, when we decided we'd quite like an arrowboat, lovely sunny days out on the cut, what more could you ask for? I like that, it's a South Yorkshire accent, and it's, yeah, it's, it's one, of the, right one of my favourites. I think we've got better things to spend us money on. So, what did we do? We bought one anyway. So a real sort of real realism mixed with a little bit of humour, you know. I like it. Straight talking. It basically got nothing in it. It were a bit rusty, looking a bit run down. And it had got a BMC 1.5 diesel engine that knocked like mad. Now this would be great to... to, to oh, you've got the... Phone. Yeah, excuse the use of portrait filming. To be this yeah, I mean, I, I see there's a lot on videos, actually, the, the where the text comes down, up saying, well, sorry about the wind, but... We could go and buy a new I think one. again, um, and then if you and were doing it piece to camera, just talking like you are doing here, Pete, you could, could then put over the top drive. some uh, cutaways, is what they're called, which is just basically other footage in place of... There's also some systems your face, you can buy in place of your face. You your as lovely as, lovely as it is, uh, which is nice for people, especially if you're talking about engines, to see exactly what you mean, what expensive. parts you're talking about. An Amatite Yorkshireman. <laughs> that option weren't happening. So we had a little scratch of heads. I've had to cut it here because it. it's two minutes, so uh, if you want to see more of, of um, Pete's uh, journey with his electric boat, which is what he's, he's building, um, yeah. Definitely check that out on YouTube. Right, next we've got Dave. Dave's, uh, he's, he's channeling Jeremy Clarkson to some extent, I think. Check it out. My name is Dave Trivet, and this is my local towpath. There's a little bit of um, breathing noise on the, on the mic there. It's just north of... Which is difficult, you know, if you're walking along, that's the, it's difficult to cut that out. Our boat's currently Morning Crick. And if you are walking and talking, why not just turn it on yourself, you know, like you were doing right at the start, Dave, that was good. And polish to, uh, to have a shower, not really. That's the Jeremy Clarkson bit. I'll go. So, bridge 37. And to the right there is a beautiful village of Eason Hall. That's great. You're pointing out something of, worthy of 
um, your viewers' interest, but it would have been great to actually see a shot of that village. You can see the lack of movement by the, the blossom on the water. This is good. Good name for that tricky follow up album. Lol. So, yep, that was Dave Trivet. Thank you, Dave, uh, for your Comedy Canal capers. Right, next we've got a really. Uh, this is the funniest blog. Um, it doesn't even mean to be funny, but it is. Um, but he rescues it. I'm just going to let this play because you've got to see the whole thing of this one. This is Martin Bryant. He's filming on a Samsung A50. Here we go. Hi, Robbie. Hi, everybody. Um, my name is Martin, Martin Bryant. I am interested in vlogging because I run a narrowboat hire business out of Nantwich in Cheshire. And I'm looking at different ways to promote it. And I do apologize because this thing I've bought <laughs> is not working very well. Uh, I think he's bought a gimbal. Just charging or binning. Um, I might ask, oh, I might ask Robbie. Uh, for a little bit of advice on that at some point if he's interested I in, think just just uh, bin it my vlog, so just <laughs> bin it Martin <laughs> whoops <laughs> it's rubbish anyway yes it is get rid of it um, well we're not hiring the boat out that's for sure oh useless you're flat okay is that what's wrong with you hilarious love it and the fact that there's a take two as well uh, Martin here again, um, just doing this handheld now because yeah. that gimbal thing, it's more trouble than it. That's only going to stop it there. Yeah, it's the only way. Don't, if it's just starting out vlogging, don't, you don't need to use all the gear. Just, just start very simply with just the camera. Don't use any my extra microphones or tripods. Just try using the camera, master that first, and then start adding things like gimbals, battery powered gimbals like you're use, you, know, you were trying to use there. I know it's tempting to make sure you've got all the gear first, but in my experience, having uh, started with no money and just trying to like, borrow in the school's camera when I was at school um, and or my mate's camera and just trying to like, make whatever I could with what I, what I could get hold of. Um, and I've, yeah, I've not, I can't, still can't afford good cameras and equipment now, but I can just get just enough. To, um, to make something. So yeah, I don't think you need to have all the gear. You just need all the ideas. Right, so here we go. Carry on with this, Martin, you absolute legend. So what am I using? It's a Samsung A50 with the cameras on the back because they're better and encourages me to look at the cameras, not the screen. So that mistake fixed. What have I been doing during lockdown? Um, well, not much because the boat can't go out at the moment, but we're hoping that will change soon. So just been doing some painting and some other jobs, uh, ready to make the boat a little bit nicer, a little bit better, and we can start up again and also find out the joys of gardening. So that's my boring vlog entry done. See what you think, Robbie. Let me know. Martin, I think that was wonderful. Not boring at all because you made me laugh. Hopefully you've made a lot of others laugh and um, you come out of it as a, as a, a human being the idea is to come across as human as possible so that people can actually connect with you you want people to sort of comment on your videos don't you so you you need to show your real personality and if there's a few mistakes in it you've got to throw them in because that will just make it more uh, appealing to to the average person that's going to watch these vlogs here we go the next one is alice butler now alice is a patreon supporter so, um, I, you know, I could be in, in I could be worrying about uh, favouritism here, but I'm just going to play this one and uh, comment as we go along. I'm not going to say with either way. It's a, a quite a strange effect on. Um, these images you see. It's, it's almost like it's quite 70s, I think, but I quite like that. I think it was accidental, uh, Alice said uh, in her Twitter message. Um, so, yeah. But this is great. All the, the information at the bottom, um, because she's told me she couldn't do the um, voice uh, piece to camera bit, she couldn't. Um, 
did the, the actual vlog part very well. She tried, but you know, you've got to try these things. But uh, either way, having this information on top of the, the footage is great. And you chose them some nice music, you know, it's from the YouTube archives, isn't it, I think? But... And that your, that's your dog, Jimmy. Yeah, well, you've got to have a dog in, in a vlog, haven't you? If you've got one, flaunt it. <laughs> this is great, little information about the walled garden. I suppose I... I'm guessing you didn't show us exactly where you live in the UK because you didn't want people to like stalk you, basically. <laughs> but yeah, that's a yeah, that is a concern. You know, if you are sharing little bits about your life, you don't really want to show too much, do you? In case people's trying to stalk you and all that sort of stuff. But I've never really had any problems. But then again, I never tell people where I am. Pleasley Pit Track. Wherever that looks, wherever that is, that looks very nice. Lovely, thank you, Alice. That was brilliant. So you've, that, I think that was one of your. Is that your first vlog? That's not bad. Uh, I'd, I'd like to see some more. Yeah, keep trying with that one if it's something that you enjoy doing. Why not? All right, next one we've got Tony Butterworth, and I think I like Tony. I've never met him before. I like the way this guy comes across, but I also like he's a cameraman as well, a photographer. So obviously he's he's he knows a little bit about how to get some good shots. But I'm not sure what camera he's using. But it's just that's just. Check out and see what he came up with. My name's Tony, and here's me handing in my homework to Robbie. I'm going to give you a two minute tour of where I live in Pennine, Yorkshire, Dunford Bridge. So, straight away, Tony's introduced himself and he's telling you what this vlog is about, and that's so important. Get that in straight away. And he's got some really nice creative shots, you know, he's just really thought differently about. Uh, making this film, not just pointing the camera around. He's, uh, you know, filming his welly boots, um, you know, different angles. Lovely. So you sort of you're basically painting a picture with your camera. That's that's the whole goal of making a film, I think, sometimes. But also using the music, as you'll hear now. You can also add an extra sort of flavour if you like. I'd hate using that word, but you know, that little sort of little um, um, strum of the guitar there, it was lovely. Just about to walk across the dam. It's usually a lot more busy than this, but uh, with lockdown, they closed the car parks. It's very quiet. A little bit of wind noise there that's annoying, isn't it? But um, this is good. You've, you've got your nice little shot of you walking away from the camera just to show people that you, you're going somewhere. You want to walk. Uh, we don't always have to do that. It's just a nice little thing to put in every now and then. Sparrowhawk. This is great because Tony's really showing his passion now. Sparrowhawk, wonderful. Like he's genuinely excited about it. And I love that. <laughs> it doesn't matter what it is you're filming, if you're really into it, it shows and it people will love you for it. And over to the left see up there that is the dam wall of Winscar Reservoir and here we have the actual bridge at Dunford Bridge so that was a very brief tour of Dunford Bridge I hope you enjoyed it lovely yes Tony thank you so much for handing in your homework that was really nice wasn't it so I think just generally if you've got just that sort of personality where you, you can because I think it does come down to that. You almost don't need the right, all the right gear. You also need a, the kind of personality that comes across well on the videos. That you know you can just be yourself. I think that's, I think it's just important to be yourself. But yeah, let's move on. Now this family are definitely being themselves, and they are called the Whitbys. Just started a YouTube channel, and they're on the Chesterfield Canal. We headed in the direction of Draco's, meaning we had to put the kayak in and out of the water a couple of times 
weirdly a lot. Now that's called a cutaway because the audio in the background is explaining what's going on and then you see the footage of his family walking along there. And that's really good, it tells the story much better, much more clearly. clearly. The colour seems a bit... Oh, I know what it is. It's, it's whenever you've got sunlight and shade, it's very difficult to get that. There's always quite a harsh contrast, but yeah, you made the best of it. During the day, I made one mistake. I will never live down. This is so good. I can't believe you captured this bit. I think you can tell what's become next. <laughs> I think that's brilliant. And the family here, we've got Dave, who just fell in there, Jess, Jenny and Harry Whitby with their dog, Poppy. All having loads of fun. And they're on YouTube if you want to check them out. I think one thing with these vlogs is you've got to remember you're starting out somewhere, something happens, like they're like falling in. How are you gonna end it? So that's, I think that's the one thing I would think about with this vlog. How are you gonna end that episode, and bring it to a close and make people want to come back and watch it? Watch the next episode. That's definitely key. Uh, I really, really appreciated that. I was just absolutely chuffed to see all these videos come through and I couldn't show them all. Um, but uh, yeah, I really enjoyed looking through, the, through them all anyway. Feel free if you want to send me your, your videos, um, but please do not promote your, your vlogs in the comments section below. Unless you've been featuring this video, I don't want to hear any sort of... Hey guys, check out my vlog. That will just, I'll just ignore it. But if, yeah, if you want to send me your own two minute vlog that you'd like me to have a look at, I'll definitely have a look at that. And if you can send that to me via Twitter is probably the best way. Um, just so I could, it's easy to keep track of the tweets. At uh, Robbie Cumming is my... Twitter handle and uh, yeah thank you so much for sending the videos in before I go I just want to thank a few people on patreon for supporting this video entering the ranks of the crank it crew this time going into the logbook is Matthew Dennis who is a producer of the vlogs paying ten dollars a month and at five dollars a month Eric Ulen I hope that's how you pronounce your name Eric thank you uh, every, everyone that supports me on supports me on Patreon are all ridiculously generous people and yeah, keeps me going. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching the vlog and I'll see you again next time. Bye bye!